All right, now in my previous video, we saw how some of the features from a Pixel's new screenshots application can be used on the Samsung's gallery application. If you missed that video, I will link that up in the description. Now here is something more exciting. We have got the Pixel's screenshot application itself now available for all the Android phones. And this can be downloaded through an APK. Of course, officially this application will not be made available for the other Android phones. It will be exclusive to the Pixel 9 series. Now Samsung may try to incorporate some of these features from Pixel's uh, screenshot application into Samsung Gallery or they may come up with a separate application. There will be some alternative for the screenshot application in the coming days. Let's wait and see that but in this video let me show you how this uh, application works. What are the features which are currently working on the screenshot application. You can download the APK only if you're interested after watching this video. Uh, you will get to know how exactly the application is working whether all the features are working or not. Let me tell you that and then if you're interested go ahead download the APK from the link I have provided in the description. Now here you can see we have got a screenshot application. The APK is already installed on this phone and you can see the icon here. It looks kind of cool. It is all about screenshots. Now let me just open the application. Now you see this is the interface you get to see. Now it has already fetched the screenshot from the gallery application. You can see all my screenshots are available right here and whenever I take a screenshot. Now let me just take a screenshot of this uh, home screen setup here. You see the screenshot is uh, taken. Now let me go to this screenshot application and you will be able to see this new screenshot which I just took. You see, we have got the screenshot right here. Now the interface is not that great I would say in this application. It's a typical pixel UI edition which is available here. You can see the latest screenshot in large thumbnail here. On the top we have got uh, a notification which says updates required. Uh, to use pixel screenshots you will need to update some of the applications on your uh, device. Now of course this may not work here because this is applicable for the pixel phones. Right below that we have got collections option here. It says create your first collection to organize your screenshots. So you can just tap on this plus button to create a, a specific collection here. Now here let's say I want to add some of these screenshots. Let me just select them and I'll tap on a new collection title. I will uh, type home screen and I'll tap on OK. You see we have got a new folder here under my collection. Now this is how we can organize the screenshot in separate uh, collections. If you want more you can tap on plus to add more collections here. Let me just uh, select a few more screenshots here messages tap on ok you see we have got uh, two collections right here now let me go back once the collections are created it will show up right here on the top you can create your own collections here you can probably create a shopping collection where you can save all the screenshots of the uh, shopping applications or anything related to shopping or you can create uh, some other categories or uh, collections right here it will show up right here on the top then we have got all these screenshots now let me tap on this arrow here you see I have got all the screenshots here and I can change these thumbnail sizes here by tapping on this icon. Let me just go back. Now here is a pop up it says a clear cache for pixel screenshot pixel screenshots closed because this app has bug. Try clearing the applications cache first and then reopen the application. Let me just clear the app of course this is an APK and this is not an official uh, version of the application. Whoever has created this APK will come up with an updated version uh, a bug free version maybe in the future. Let's wait and see that for now. Let me show you how exactly this is working. Now you can see there is no AI feature inside this application. Here on these thumbnails you can see it is still processing the AI is processing these screenshots but that will not work on this particular APK. It will work only on the Pixel phones because Google has officially integrated the AI into the application and that will not come up on any of the APKs as far as I know. But some of the features do work on this application. Now let me just open a screenshot here. Now you see we have got a few options here at the bottom. I can share the screenshot and I can edit the screenshot but that option is also not working here. And the third button here you can see this is a reminder. I can tap on this to set a reminder for this particular screenshot. We've got a few options later today, tomorrow, next week and I can select the date here and this reminder will remind me of this particular screenshot on the set date. So that's a pretty cool feature we have got on this application. And when I scroll down you see it says AI processing will finish in the background later. However, AI processing will not happen on this APK. So be wary of that. Now if you want to add a note for this particular screenshot, you can add a note which will become easy to search. It's more like adding tags on the Samsung Galaxy phones gallery applications. That is how it works. You just add a tag here. For this particular screenshot, I will add uh, the tag here. I will just add weather 
I'll tap on OK. Now let me open another uh, screenshot here. Now you see if I want to add a note here for the screenshot, I can also use the this mic icon here, widgets. You see it is just added widgets to this particular screenshot. Now notes can be added manually by typing, by keying in the words on the keyboard or you can use the mic option here. Now these are some of the options that we currently have on this APK on this particular application. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and download this APK and uh, just try this out. I'm not sure whether this is going to help you in any way, but if you are someone who is into taking loads of screenshots and if you want to organize it, then maybe you can uh, use this particular application. Now to download it, all you need to do is just go to the link that I have given in the description. It is going to take you to this particular page where it says pixel screenshots and you can see the version number. Just keep scrolling down the size is about 104.41 MB and you can see this download APK button. Just tap on download. Now while downloading it, it will ask you some permissions. Uh, just allow those permissions on your phone. The pop-ups will warn you that uh, the APK could be harmful. This application could be harmful for your phone, but that is just the Google security policy. Uh, you can go ahead and download these APKs from APK Mirror, which is a trustworthy source from where you can download the APKs. And I have been doing this for years now and I did not find Find any issues with these APKs from apkmirror.com. You can go ahead and do that, but if you don't want to do it, it's completely up to you. We are anyways not going to get this application officially from Pixel Phone, so you might as well try the APK just in case if you're into taking a lot of screenshot and uh, if you need this organization option through an application. That's about it. You let me know what do you think about this app? Would you prefer having this app? Do you really like this application from Google Pixel? And if Samsung offers it, would you see yourself using these kind of features? Drop a comment and let me know. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.